If you're a software developer and your current working environment is Windows, you need to see DevToys. It is basically a Swiss army knife for us developers and it has potential to save us a lot of time and headache. But before we dive into it, let's first address the problem that it solves. While we are coding, we generally need tools for lots of operations such as conversions, data generation, encoding, decoding, formatting, and so on. To deal with them, we tend to search up the things that we need on Google and try to find our way from there. As long as it works, it should be okay, right? Well, actually not. The thing is, although they might work, you never know the sites that you are visiting are malicious or not. And these sites tend to process large amounts of data on a daily basis, and running that kind of load is not something cheap. So if those sites are free, with no paid plans, that is kinda sus. On top of that, if we are coding from a remote location where the internet access is limited, we basically can't do shit. And this brings us to the Dave Toys. It is made by Etienne Bodo and Benjamin Tito, and sorry if I butchered their names, but anyway. It is essentially a set of useful tools packed together, and it is both open sourced and also works offline, so it solves the problems that we have mentioned earlier. It also has an amazing feature which I will be showing you later on in this video. Now let's look at how we can install and use it. First we head over to its site, which is devtoys.app, and you can also find its link in the description down below. There we can click this to go over to the Microsoft store and install it from there, or we can click this to go to the project repository and and build it from the source. And once you're done with your preferred installation method, you can open up the app and this is the window that you should get. So let's create few usage situations and quickly go over on few of them. First we have JSON to YAML converter. So imagine that we are working with AWS and we have this JSON cloud formation template. And by the way, if you don't know what that is, don't worry, it is just a document to create infrastructure like deploying servers, managing access controls, routing and so on. You get the idea. Now we want to convert this JSON template to YAML format because that way it is much more readable and it is easier to debug. So we copy it, go to the dev toys and paste it into the converter. And there we go, we have our YAML file. But now we want to check that if there are any differences between our converted version and AWS's version. So we copy our converted YAML by hitting this button and under the text tab we head over to the text difference tool. There we hit the paste on the new text. Then we grab the YAML from the AWS page and paste it into the old text section. And there we can see the differences, line breaks, comments and so on. We can also change our view from split view to inline view by hitting this button. Now let's imagine another situation. This time we are a front-end developer and we are building a blog page for colorblind people. So obviously we want to see if our graphics are okay to use or not. To check it, we can go over to the colorblindness simulator and upload our image. There I've used a colorblind test. So as you can see, we can easily see the problematic parts. At this point, we figured out the issue with the graphics. So we can focus on our blog text. But to test it, we need to generate some dummy data. So to do that, we head over to the lorem ipsum tool and create few paragraphs and copy them. Just like that. It is super simple and useful. Now, do you remember that in the beginning of this video, I've said that DevToys has an amazing feature. Now, let's look at that. There, I have a few data samples, a base64 string and a JSON web token. Now, check this out. If I copy base64 string and go to the DevToys, it just auto detects the right tool and populates it for us. How cool is that? Now, let's try the same with JWT. We copy it and go to the DevToys and there we go. It is just awesome. Also, you may have noticed the light bulb icon next to the tools, and that means that the copied clipboard content can be used with the corresponding tool, which is also a nice indicator. And for some reason, if you want to disable this feature, you can do it from the settings and turning off the smart detection. And speaking of features, we also have the picture in picture mode. We can activate it by pressing on this button, and as you can see, now we have a compact version of the selected tool. That said, this is pretty much the basic summary of the dev toys. I personally think that it is a great product project and it has so much potential. Imagine that it includes things like FFmpeg support or ability to send requests just like the postman does. Literally the possibilities are endless. And also if you want to start contributing an open source project, I think DevToys can be a great option. In any case, I hope you've liked this video and find it helpful. Until next time, take care.